Hey everyone, Morgan here, and I'm going to be making some uh, fire starters with uh, cotton rounds. I got this whole packet for uh, $1 at the dollar store, and um, so I got these little cotton rounds, and what I'm doing right now is I'm going to melt some wax. You can melt wax, you can get really cheap wax from eBay, or uh, you can melt candles at home. Just make sure if you do melt your own candles, make sure they're unscented. Um, and make sure that you uh, peel the wax out of the old candle and then put it in something like a tin can like this or something just so um, you know it's it's nice and safe for the burner and make sure you do a double boiler there's water and then the wax is going to be in here it's a double boiler kind of method just so the wax doesn't get too hot and everything is very safe okay so uh, we're gonna let this melt and I will come back all right, so the wax is starting to melt, and once it starts to melt, I like to get in there and uh, just start. So, you're gonna keep your fingers nice and tight here, and you're just going to dip it. Be very careful. It's okay if you don't get the whole, uh, the whole cotton ball, but be very, very careful, okay? And then, you're just going to transfer it over here, and there you go. And then you're just going to keep doing that until you're sick and tired of it. Again, be very careful. Wax is very hot. I know you're an adult. You don't have to like saturate it, but it's good to get it, you know, pretty, uh, pretty saturated. There we go. Two. So again, like I said, just keep doing it. And yes, you want to leave that little bit up top, that little bit of uh, part up top, because you'll need to light it somehow. And you can light it if it's completely saturated, but it's just a little harder. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on. All right, so I actually used quite a bit of wax, and I didn't even melt it all, but I took that off the burner, and there we go. We have our uh, little fire starters here. I'm actually gonna put these in the freezer, flash freeze them. It's not gonna hurt it or anything. It's just gonna make it uh, just be done quicker. And then we're gonna see how they burn. After only maybe five, 10 minutes of waiting, they're ready. I mean, they're nice and hard. So, and they're perfect. So let's go check them out. All right. You need to light it enough to where it catches the wax. It can take a second sometimes. There we go. It's actually lit. I'm gonna lift it up. Okay. So once it catches the wax, which it already has done, this thing can last for a good 30 minutes or so. Um, we have tested this many times before and I think it was about 30 minutes that it lasted. I mean, this is perfect for uh, getting a fire going um, and it will stay lit. So, um, you know, you don't have to prop it up a certain way. You can just set it down and then it'll, it'll catch. It will catch. It's better if it's upright, obviously, but you know, if you throw it in a, a fire or something, it'll be good. I love these. They are stupid easy to make. And, um, but you know, if you don't want to make them and you want me to send you a couple, I would love to. Uh, I think these are, are great fire starters. So um, let me know if you make them and what you think. And uh, let me know if you have made them in the past and what you think. I'll see you later.